Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. These are my two tour guys for today. <laughs> so yeah, guys, um, we are trying to film the Alchi Polytechnic Campus tour and show you guys the different campuses that we have in Alchi Polytechnic Campus One, Campus Two, Campus Three. So yeah guys, this is a new site. I don't know what they want to use these buildings to do, but I know there's a new site in Campus yeah, 3, yeah. Classroom, yeah classroom. Then, I think, I don't know where, where is Campus 2? Is it like that way? No, no. Campus or two. this facing yeah. like this? Okay, yes. So Campus 2 is like, this road also leads to like Campus 2 and stuff. Um, this is an ETI video. We, we normally don't take lectures yet, so we don't really know much about Campus wow, 3. And all of that. There are still more new buildings there in Campus 3, yeah. The department in Campus 3 are mostly like School of so Environmental, yeah. yeah. Architecture, I, mean, yeah. Architecture uh, I think they have like one building in Campus 2 there, yeah. It's named Red Reverend Dr. Okbebolo Road. Matthew Okbebolo Road. Listen to where? Fourth Complex. Yes. Because, you know, in Sports Complex, you are going to this, there's this side. Yeah, there's this dark I don't know what all these buildings are for, School to be honest. Okay, that's the sign, but the School of Environmental Studies. Yeah, I think these are classrooms and buildings. Basically, this campus is for camp for School of Environmental Studies. I'll just get closer and show you guys the signboard. This is the School of Environmental Studies in Archie Polytechnic, and the departments under the schools are Architectural Technology, Building Technology, where we have the Estate Management. We also have our quantity surveying, surveying and geoinformatics, and then also we have urban and regional planning. I think those are the six departments here in Campus 3 where they take lectures. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're right. Thank <laughs> you. Right. So let's just like check some other buildings. Then we just go to like Campus 2 or Campus 1. Campus 2. Campus 2, yeah. Campus we just go to Campus two. Two. We'll go from there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't be only Sako. I want to be Sako. This should be like their own mini Arizona too. Yes, yeah. It's fine though. The campus is really small, shall It's really small. really small. Okay, guys. Over there is the Poly Guest House. As you can see then, over there also is our uh, staff quarters, the new staff quarters. And down that side is Campus 2 buildings. We are going to like show you guys Campus 2 buildings, then uh, the staff quarters and everything from the last side. But we're going to show you guys that from Campus 2 here, yeah, you can see the poly guest house from a distance. And you can also see Campus 2 from a distance. So say that the old school is like... No Let's say no one compound. One compound. <laughs> 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 centralized yeah, or somehow. Although it's like a long distance, like they are, they are like really spaced out, but then they are all centralized together. Mm. Like office building under development in Campus Two, yeah. and then of course my school. So yeah, this is applied science building. I've done a day in my live vlog here. I've done a month in my live video here so if you have not seen those videos guys you can check it out this is this is school of applied sciences or faculty of applied science this is a school of business lecture hall it was very close to applied science soon and then um there's another one at the back of this building something very similar like to this one that still belongs to school of business studies then on this side we have the office bu office buildings that are building yeah and there's another lecture from the rapid, I showed the video of the other side when I was coming in, or from the previous clip. I know, say, 
Nani one of these walkie talkie throat teach. <laughs> a particular man. So yeah guys, um this is School of Applied Science and Technology. On this side, um mostly we have um, food technology, um agri technology, ceramics technology down there and the uh, certain monument here yeah, that uses this space for like lectures and up to this point. Then here is the lecture theatre. We have um um microbiology taking lectures here. Yeah. Then we have SLT, PSLT that take lectures from this point up to the other point there. So all of that. Uh, so this is just like the general overview of the School of Applied Sciences. I've done a video on this place from a day in my life video. You can see more about this place. I did like a little tour of this place. So check out that video, guys. So yeah, we'll move on to School of Business Studies and show you guys what it looks like. That's the Campus 2 library there. Campus 2 library. There is like a canteen where you can eat and buy food. Over there at the top is School of Business Studies, but we'll get closer to it very soon. I'll show you. So yeah, on this side, you can see the signboard for Campus 2 library. So there's this test that we're going to take to campus. So School of Business Studies. On this side, is an, you can take a shortcut here, and that will lead you up to School of Business Studies also. Then there's another shortcut to the left again that will lead you to Art and Design. Sorry, Architecture Building. Up there, those buildings, there is the uh, Department of Architecture there. And here is the ETF buildings for School of Business Studies lectures and all of that. Then up there is the main School of Business building, lecture building. Yeah, guys, this is a clearer view of the Campus 2 Library, the all Area 2 Library, any of them. This is what the library looks like from the outside. This um, road leads to um, more into Campus 2. Um, uh, they see that this village to the right there. But you have already like where the cattle and cows for the Cedar Village. It's an entrepreneurship building. Then um, this is the stairs we're going to take. This is the stairs. It used to talk about the stairs more. Then when we get to the top, I'll also show you guys the continuation of this road. Welcome back. As you can see, this is the longest staircase in Aochi. I think so far. I think it is about 107 steps. Because I think I, I could remember I counted it when I was 91. So this place leads to the School of Business Studies. Then you'll be seeing the clearer view of the business studies whenever we get there. Whenever we get there. <laughs> when we get there. <laughs> We're going to get there very soon. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, this stage is actually very long and it's very tiring to clamp. But it's better now because before it was just like a bad hill that people just used to walk down. Before the management decided to provide this staircase and these railings for us. Alright guys, first to reach the top on your mask set, go! <laughs> Does he run it? <laughs> hey guys, voiceover chip back here. So we finally got to the top of the staircase and I'm doing a voiceover because we were all breathing really hard and I don't want to um add those short breath clips. So I'm going to like continue to the playing the normal clip from the part where we or oh, I sound better and we've like started breathing normal again. So yeah guys, these are the school of business studies classrooms and um this particular building they have like um where they take like CBT exams. So this entire building belongs to school of business studies up to the other points reaching up to the road after this roundabout straight down reaching up to this point. Um to the right they have like um some other buildings like they have the sports units we have um, poly consults. So right ahead there is the um, Center for Entrepreneurship Development of Aochi Polytechnic. It's an entrepreneurial building where they um, teach entrepreneurial skills apart from the normal departmental courses that we take. So yeah, and this whole um, yard that is right in front of us is where they like train like cattle, cows, and all of that. They also have poultry there where they wear chickens. And this building right in front of us is where they take the theoretical parts of the CDAP courses. And yeah, so this is the condition of the road that I was talking about. We can't really see much because the road is curved. 
on this other side is the road that leads straight up to campus two front gate then i'm going to show you guys somewhere we call aristo two we have a button campus one and campus two this is the one for campus two it's like a park where students can come to like relax chill and pray uh this is you even also to read because i like chairs there this is the road that leads down to campus to aristo two so yeah guys um this is the campus two cottage it's like uh, the clinic in campus two here yeah. and there's another one in campus one i think it's in my video you eventually get to see it um this is the department of marketing you have marketing buildings the office buildings and stuff uh yeah this is mostly majorly a uh, school of business studies so where you have about me in accountancy banking and finance business administration marketing and all of those departments so these are the different office buildings so guys over there those buildings with the green roof is the police secondary school and um, to the left we have the road that leads up to the department of architectural um, studies that we're trying to like show you guys before from the other points we show the back view so yeah exactly where that sculpture is that i'm trying to zoom up to that's the front of the architectural buildings why this would lead up to the front of the campus two gate this is campus two shuttle bus park where you have the shuttle buses and everything and uh, this is the shopping complex where you, where they sell basically most of the things that students need in school then this is the department of humanities school of engineering so this where they have english so and the um, basic sciences, where they have basic sciences and um, some other departments. Yeah. So yeah guys, this is what the inside of the shopping complex looks like. Just buildings where they do like different basic stuff for the students in campus too. So this road that's why it has a name. It's called it's called that. Uh, then yeah, welcome to your two. Then this is the entrance to this is that village. This is where you also have my departmental offices, food technology. At the end of this floor, you see that village. So we're going outside through the main school gate. So this was like for COVID-19. The building is here. It is affecting boots and then hand wash and everything. Hey yeah, guys, this is the outside and what it looks like. The outside of campus two, the road. So yeah guys, that side is called the Sabo and all of that, EAP. It's part of where the community, school communities are. And yeah, this is the school gate, the entrance to the school. That road is the road. I, I have a video of me entering the road with the shuttle bus when I showed the like, other part of campus. One. Yeah. Okay. So yeah guys, this is the main school building. School gate! This is the main school building, guys. Uh, this is the actual entrance to campus one all the main building and everything those two boys there they the stop So yeah, we also have the disinfection booth here in campus too. So guys, I want to show you the map of the actual school. This is like, so it's going to help you guys to understand the school. So yeah, this is the school gate and this is the road that leads over there to Poly Gate. Um, here is Art and Design, School of Elementary, School of Engineering. This is the pavilion. Staff quarters, ATM, as I call the Mog, Savicom, Alumni Building, Main Street. On this side, New Staff Quarter. Yeah, there's a bakery there. It's there, it's very close, it's just somewhere there. It's just somewhere around there that they have the bakery. Yeah, there. Then, there. Then. Staff Quarter, Rector's Quarter, Polyphilic Station. So guys, for the video, I went back to the shuttle bus park 
and I took a shuttle bus to show you guys the whole of campus one because we definitely could not do that walking. So yeah, this right in front of us is the sports complex where they have the volleyball court, the basketball court, and um, there they have like where the actual pitches for the football right in front of us now is the hostel the school hostel buildings so this is what the entrance to the hostel looks like the entrance serves for both the male and females moving on this is a long road that i really didn't get to film we call it valley of decision because it's like a hill you have to climb till you get to the top and it's really tiring this is what it looks like at the top and this is the condition of the entrance from the other video the main gate of campus one to the left there we have the main auditorium of the school to the right is the security um offices for, where they have the office of the cs and everything so yeah guys right in front of us is the main auditorium of the polytechnic where they hold major events like convocation and all of that right in front of us here is the main administrative building that also houses the director's office well, this is the training unit for alternative management where they have their labs and their kitchen offices. Um, moving forward, this road leads straight up to the former School of Applied Sciences and Technology before they move to campus 2. So, to the left there, they have um, the mass communication uh, broadcasting house. I didn't really get to show it. Why this building right for us is called the Bosley um down there is an atm and straight up is where we have the office of the dean of student affairs um to the left moving on is just how the entire look of the whole of applied science or former applied science building and behind it we have the school of ict lecture theaters and lecture classrooms To the right there where students are standing is where they also take CBT examinations in campus one year. So you guys, I just thought it would be easier to like show you guys the whole of campus one through this view because I felt it's the quickest for me. So yeah, these buildings in front of us where they have like those stones, mark white and green is what they call this school pavilion. They use it to like do campaigns, doing ele student elections and other stuff. Also to the left is this main campus one library. We'll get to see it clearer later on. So yeah guys, going forward, this is the school of engineering. This is what the front of the school of engineering looks like. And to the right are some of the laboratories for the school of engineering. Yeah, and moving forward, that's where we have the alumni building studio. So guys, this long road is the road that was leading up from the administrative building, that rector's block. This is a very long road that leads straight up to the pulley gates. To the right there, we have the cottage hospital, we have the school workshop. Now this building in front of us is the School of Art and Industrial Design. That's the entrance to the main Art and Design building. Yeah, this is the bad gates for the poly road. We call it poly road because once you get out of these gates, you have the poly road there, and that's the poly bag gates. I think these are art and design students doing their um, assignments. And I'm going to show you guys the art gallery. They have like a couple of um, art work there. See, so yeah, guys, this is the art and art and industrial design. The school of art and design. This is the art gallery. So yeah, it says it's welcome to the school of art and design. Yep. So these are the rules. Feed your eyes only. So I'm going to like show you guys how it looks like inside the art gallery.
Hey guys, the art gala is actually very big, so I would not be able to like fully document m most of the parts of it. So I just like show you guys how it looks like, and there's always room for um, more students to, like put up their works or their year rather. So I'm just going to pull it and try to get my glass fixed, and I'll try to get something to eat, and I'll try to go to the library. I'm just saying try, try, try because all of this may not happen. I'll take you guys along with whatever process I am on. So once I get to the next video I'm going to attach is the poly road because I think that's what I'll just show you guys what it looks like from the gate and yeah so yeah guys this is what we call poly road so yeah this is the poly gate This is where the main gate starts from actually. Then from campus to where we walk down, we walk to the hostel, then to where we have our water reservoir down the road. Then moving forward, we, we move to the sports complex. Moving forward, then we move to the staff quarters. Then in the video we did earlier, after the Catholic Church, this is the guest house, like the poly guest house. That was, I think we talked about that in campus, campus 3. 3 yeah. 
then before we move to the copper sludge this is the way to the campus too where we did a video earlier to apply science and all this so, stuff this whole long road that's the road that's this road which they call it hostel road that's the road that leads so at least like this it leads to the hostel sport complex all of that down to campus too so. okay, so this is going to be the end of the video i hope you enjoyed the tour and like the tour of algebra polytechnic so we could not cover everywhere definitely like the school is no, very big yeah. so we tried to cover as much area as we could and i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right guys bye